<laughs> okay. Mm. We're still talking food. We're still doing food. We're making breakfast for us in the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Debbie is in the studio today yeah. and she'll be making potato hot spots. Yeah. Yay. Uh, so these are the ingredients. Let's talk about them. Where do we start? Okay, so we have um, tomatoes. Yeah, we have um, tomatoes and peppers already okay. blended. Okay. And this is Irish potatoes. Okay. Then the chicken has been properly marinated. Okay, what did you use to marinate it? Um, I used um, thyme, okay. curry, okay. some sesame oil, okay. garlic, okay. and ginger. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Then this is green beans. So no seasoning cubes, nothing in it? No, seasoning cubes as well. As well, okay. Yeah. So the green beans, right? Yes. Are, are they going to be used as large as this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Then we have our carrots, okay. onion, mm -hmm. our spring onion as well. Then mm -hmm. this is um, garlic powder, mm -hmm. granite oil, mm -hmm. thyme, mm -hmm. um, garlic powder. Then this one is ginger powder. Ginger powder. Okay. And this is curry. Okay. Then we have our bell peppers. Okay. Bell peppers and yeah. then seasoning cubes, of course. Yeah. Okay. And we also make use of... Uh, Italian seasoning and cajun spice. Okay. So let's get started. What's the first thing we're doing? So I'll pansier my chicken. Aha. All right. I like the sound of that. Pansier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just to give it a very nice brown color. Okay. I believe it's a cook through. Yeah, I'll when finish. We, I'll continue we cooking in the okay. sauce. Okay, this is for just, just that to, color. Yeah, just and to give it a false crispy taste. Exactly. When you are chewing it. Yes. <laughs> Not my use of false, so you don't put too much pressure on yourself when you're cooking. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm getting it right. Is this how Chef Debbie did it? You're getting <laughs> it right. The most important thing is to have a meal that turns out well. Okay, okay, so on so this pot, I'll start making the sauce. So okay. we already have some oil okay. in the pan. Okay. So I'll add in some onions. All right. Mm, the cheese is down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll allow that to um, heat so up a bit. any raw garlic? No, no, just is the it powder one. No, no, no. You can use the raw powder. garlic if yeah. you want. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, um, pot pot potatoes is actually a Cameroonian meal. Okay. It's just like, I don't know if you know Pule Diji. Pule Diji, yeah. yeah. The only difference is um, instead of um, plantain, we are using potatoes. Potato, oh, yeah. okay. Ah, I dare say I can make it myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's actually very simple. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So, you are Cameroonian. The caramelizing onion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looks good. Thank so are you. we going to season the onions? Yeah, I'll add in when um, it gets um, caramelized a little. I'll okay. add my seasoning. I like building flavors from here. You know, okay. when you add your onions, yeah. you add your thyme, your curry. I prefer adding it at this time instead okay. of adding it towards when the you. end because okay. this is where you build flavors. Okay. And then it sticks with the food, whatever it is. Yeah. You're up to the very end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my time will go in now. Okay, so nice to What else? Curry. Curry. Uh huh. Then Italian seasoning. That's all for now. And the cajun and spice. the cajun sauce. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So there you go. Uh, we'll definitely continue with this process. The chicken will be uh, fancied and ready to cook by the time we get back. Uh, to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Right now, however, we have to take this break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the kitchen, folks, right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Debbie is still doing some things here. Skills all the way. Okay, all right, so uh, here's what we're going to do. We've done a lot of things behind the scenes. Yeah. So you run us through what we've done so far, what we're going to do, and then of course uh, we'll continue. Okay. So um, I think I stopped where I was adding the spices. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So after that, mm -hmm. I added. No, the let, let, let's start from the scratch because there are some people that mm -hmm. might just be tuning in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are making hot pots, potato hot pots. So I can ah. call it hot pot That's potatoes. It. <laughs> So what I did is, um, or what I'm doing, I'm actually pan searing my chicken, okay. and it's going to go into the sauce. Mm -hmm. So for the sauce, what I did, I um, 
um, fried some onions as well with my spices, thyme, curry, um, Italian seasoning and cardio. And then I added my tomato and peppers. That's what I'm doing here, I'm frying it. Then I added the potatoes as well. So I'm boiling the potatoes in the sauce, using the um, liquid from the sauce to oh. boil the potatoes. Okay. Another way to do this is to actually maybe bake okay. your potatoes. Okay. Okay. Then you, um, after stewing, um, frying your sauce and everything, you pour the potatoes and like your chicken. On it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, you know what? Um, let's take a look at the menu right now. Talking about the ingredients we're making use of to make this meal. Particularly if you miss scribbling down anything earlier. Cameroon potato hot pot. We're making use of oil, curry, ginger, onions, tomatoes, green beans, uh, bell peppers, scotch bonnet, cajun, uh, uh, garlic, thyme, carrots, chicken, potatoes, stock cubes, and of course, green onions, uh, yeah. spring onions rather. Uh, so those are the ingredients for this morning's meal. Mm -hmm. uh, Kotsi, uh, Chef Jevi. As you can see, the meal is coming along nicely. Look at this chicken. It's yeah. uh, been uh, um, more or less, um, what's the word again? Fancier. Fancier. Yeah. But this one looks like it's ready to eat. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. Are you sure this is fancier, you know, proper frying? It's fancier. It's still going into the sauce. Okay, so cooked. now that we have the sauce at this level, how many more minutes will it take for us to put in everything else? Okay, let's say about 10, 15 minutes, because I really want this to get dry. Okay. So it's going to get dry. But before it gets dry, I have to add my chicken. Okay. And after which I'll add the vegetables. Okay, so in a done. few minutes, you're going to be putting in the chicken? Yeah. Okay, so after putting in the chicken, what will happen? We'll allow it to simmer a bit, then add the vegetables. For how vegetables. long? Like maybe three, five minutes? Three minutes. Let's say three, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, then we'll now add uh, all of the vegetables. vegetables yeah. Which one first? So it doesn't matter. No, it does matter because um, carrots is harder than the rest of the vegetables. Okay. Then the carrots will go in first, then my green beans, okay. then my um, bell peppers, bell peppers. Then okay. the spring then onion. The spring onion. onion. Last. Okay, so after that, we're done. That's it. You just taste to know if um, your seasoning is okay and probably add some salt. Or okay, and that's okay. It. So as you can see, it's a one pot dish really. It's yeah. not uh, so complicated. It's something you can easily make not just uh, for your family, but also for yourself. Mm -hmm. All you need to have are potatoes. And as she said earlier, uh, don't get confused like, what is this? <laughs> no, there are ways you can do it as well. She's chosen to cut the potatoes into the sauce. sauce. But as she said, you might also do it the regular way of uh, baking, baking it. This is for the benefit of those who probably have no ovens at home. So you know there are other ways uh, to make this dish and still arrive at... Uh, the goal, which is to have a delicious Cameroon potato hot pot. Yeah. yeah. And that's the aim this morning. <laughs> so crispy fried chicken, even though she's claiming it's not fried, <laughs> but this one looks fried, ready to eat as a matter of fact. Nice. Okay, so those ones are ready. Yeah. Now putting it in will make it cook even more. So the inner parts that I haven't been able to really cook, 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 cook. And yeah, also, cook. I need the flavors as well in the sauce. Okay. It, are you deliberating not the, um, covering the pot? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Is there a reason for it? Just so you can keep sparing I'm going it, to right? add more oil. So it's going to be like um, frying. Like I really want it to dry. Okay. So I'll add more oil. Okay, okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll get on with the work. We, we're, we aren't complaining. We're here to prepare breakfast for you and we are going to do justice to that. Uh, many thanks to Chef Debbie for being in the studio today. At the end of the show, of course, you will see the end result. And I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy, I was about to say enjoy watching us eat it. <laughs> but don't worry, you'd like the look and you'd love to replicate it at home. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for joining us. It's two hours of the show so far. We still have 45 minutes left to go. Stay with us, we'll be back right after this break. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the kitchen. Please take a, this seat. Chairs. take a seat. All right. Woo! Ooh. All right, so you're welcome, welcome to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, today's chef is Chef Debbie. Mm -hmm. She's prepared this fantastic breakfast. Uh, she'll tell you all about it right away. Right. Okay, this is um, Potatoes Hot Pot. It's a Cameroonian meal where you have um, your good. sauce, <laughs> potatoes, and your vegetables. It's just like Pule Diji. 
Mm. Well, the only difference is there's no planting. We're using potatoes instead of mm. planting. Wow. Okay. Uh. All right. <laughs> so please have a taste, Ooh. dig in, and tell us what you think. <laughs> Ooh, look at this that. This thing is look <laughs> at that. It looks amazing. It yeah, does. It smells good as well. Oh, mm. all right. So, mm. you like it? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Really well. Okay. Well All done. right, Chef Debbie has done it again. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes, thank you so much. There's something Chef about Debbie. Chef Debbie. She's very cool and calm, but when she starts cooking, everything mm. just <laughs> just goes out like that. Like explodes. <laughs> and it's been a marvelous Monday, people. It's been a marvelous Monday. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, for all of you who are working on getting your families safe, uh, finding new places for your families mm. to be. Um, we understand, and hopefully people in your environment can help you out. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you're going through. Uh, if you want to share, use our hashtag, WakeUpNigeria on TVC. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank you very much, Gemma Space. I'll, I'll come to this part very soon. I'll, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, be fe I'll feel that, uh, that, that touch that you're talking about. Wow. Experience. Experience. <laughs> right, it's been a wonderful time. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.